Hey guys, it's a snowstorm out there and I am offering you a core workout. This is just 10 minutes. So grab your mat and let's get going. All right. All right. First thing, we're going to come plank, inhale and exhale, pike. Inhale, plank, exhale, pike. Inhale, plank, exhale, pike. Make sure you've got a wide grip with those hands on the mat and your palms are pushing firmly. Your fingertips are like starfish. You've got one minute each, 10 exercises. You're already halfway through your first one. Come on, inhale plank, exhale pike. Inhale, look out, exhale, look down. Inhale the balls of the feet, exhale, heels on the mat. I always like to do plank to pike as a warm up for <clears throat> a lot of my workouts because it just stretches everything out, really gets things moving, gets your heart rate up. All right, you're already down with exercise number one. Taking a break. Now, adding on, you're going to go plank to pike. Then you're going to plank knees, push up down to the floor, and do plank to pike again. One minute, here we go. Plank, knees, push up, plank, pike. Plank, knees, push up, plank, pike. Try to come all the way down to the mat with your push up. Plank, pike, knees, push up. I love push ups on my knees because it really helps me target that area that I want in between the shoulder blades and it's really good for posture. I really would encourage you to practice those on the, um, against the wall, push ups against the wall or push-ups on the knees. All right, one more. Good, child's pose. Now, exercise number three, we're gonna continue with those push-ups. Just bring your feet up in the air. One minute, let's go. One, two, it's about 25 of them. Three, if you need to take a break, no worries. Now, typically you're fighting gravity, so it's inhale, exhale, up five. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Use the heel of your hand. I would encourage you to come all the way down and all the way up. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Focus. Breathing. Oh my gosh, 10 minutes and you're done for the day. Feeling great with that posture. Awesome, let's do 10 more. Come on, you've got this. Breathe in, breathe out, nine. Inhale, exhale, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, come on. Three, you've got this. Two, and last one. Light out of the mat. And exercise four is Supergirl. So Supergirl is arms and legs all the way up in this extended tummy time position. Okay, I'm saying tummy time. For those of you who are moms or have experience with little babies, we always put the babies on their tummy for tummy time to start to learn how to crawl. So if this is too much, arms straight ahead, you could always bring arms back halfway with 90 degree angle here. This is called cactus arms in the yoga world. Or you can also bring your arms back to your hips and palms down to the mat. I love this one. I love this version. And you can also do one arm, one up, right? All right, let's take a break. Next is our forearm hip dips. So my hands are right in front of my elbows. I'm gonna pop up to that forearm plank and I'm gonna do left, right for one minute. But we're trying to give ourselves a little break in between each minute. Left, right, left, right. Now please don't drop your head when you do a forearm plank. Please, please, please. Looking at the fingers about six inches in front of the mat, that's your drop when you're on a plank. All right, so you're looking at the distance, but not too far up into the ceiling or the sky. Nice. Just so you know, these are hard for everybody. These hip dips. Keep your breathing going. Breathe in, breathe out. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Take a break. Okay. Now, side plank hip dips. A couple different variations. This is one. Okay. So knee down, staggered stance, or stacked feet. Arm up, or hand behind your handlebar wide. Regardless, look down at your elbow. All right, we have 10 of these. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, stretching your fingertips up. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Try the other side, just get right to it. Here we go, knee down, right? Staggered or stacked, arm up or hand behind your head, 10 of them. Nine, eight. This is for the waistline, ladies and gentlemen. Six, five, four, three, two. It is hard. Hold it for 10. Stretch for nine, eight, seven, six. Chin up, head back, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right. Now we're back to our super girl. This time, arms are at a T. And all we're gonna do, this is one of my favorite exercises, is tap your fingers on the mat and lift. Lift, 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 lift. Smiling is optional. This is one of those ones like, oh, beginning, you're like, yeah, I can do that. And then after a lot of repetitions, so we're probably gonna do like, like 35 of these in a minute, 35 to 40. Okay, because you know you kind of slow down <laughs> after the first 20 repetitions, right? Let's face it. So arms in a T, and you're just bringing them up to the sky. That's all you're doing. Now, for the last 10, let's bring the thumb up to the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. Try a little child's pose as a break. You have three more exercises. Now next one you can do on the toes or on the knees. 10 times, you're gonna come, I would leave it the right arm for 10, left arm for 10, and you're gonna go down and up. All right, ready? Right arm leads, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, you can do it. Three, two, last one. Woo! Let's go to the left arm for 10. 10, <clears throat> nine, getting hot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, knees down, child's pose. Great job. Okay, now this next two minutes left. Two minutes. The next exercise, again, wide grip on the mat, starfish hands, you're gonna come up to the pike. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you're gonna just alternate legs to the ceiling. All right, can you see me there? I'm in my down dog. Woo! Out of breath here. This is a good workout. I encourage you to give it a try. So all I'm gonna do is lift my legs, alternate. I'm dropping my head, watching my toes grip the mat as I raise the other leg up. You've got about 20 more. So we're trying to do a minute of each exercise. I like to time things like that. Or if I'm feeling like, oh, how do I get up and go today? Sometimes I put on like the news and I lift weights to watching the news, did that today. Or sometimes I just put music on, really gets me fired up. 10 more, nine, we're gonna go right into that last exercise, get ready. Seven, let your head drop, six, five, whoops, hope I'm not losing my shirt here. My kids will really be embarrassed now. All right. Knees down, child's pose. 
and take that back. Let's just take a little break to pull the shirt down for last exercise. <laughs> okay, so the last exercise is just the plank to pipe. Let you start. Okay, you ready? You got this? You out of breath? I am. I hope you are. Okay, great. Here we go. Breathing in plank. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your bum, and pipe back. Inhale, balls of the feet. Exhale, heels on the mat. Breathing in. Oh boy, this feels so good, doesn't it? Inhale and exhale. Just try to relax. Try to just think about positive energy, positivity today. I'm a firm believer in just thinking positively and only putting positive thoughts out there to the universe. You know what I mean? Like we're living through unprecedented times. This is challenging for everyone. Sometimes it's good to talk it out and sometimes it's like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna wait on that, you know? Let's do 10 more, just finish it off strong. 10, come on, spread those toes nine. Eight, arms and legs, core working. Seven more, come on, up, up, up. Inhale, exhale six. Inhale, exhale five. Breathing in, breathing out. You can do it. Three more. <clears throat> Got it. Two more. You are almost there. Woo! -hoo! Last one. Awesome job. Knees down. Child's pose. Bring it on. Tuck the chin. Get the crown of the head on the mat. And bring hips all the way back to the heels. Oh, it feels so good. And one of my favorite things to do on child's pose is kind of lean on one arm and lean on the other arm. Okay, and then an additional tip for today, for those of you who are still watching, is that your tips, point, point your tips of the fingers down in child's pose, arms long, tuck the chin, put the top of your head on the mat. It's a really nice release of tension in the neck and the shoulders. <clears throat> Bring your hands back down, pull your stomach in, Drag the arms halfway back by scooping the belly strong, carving out that C in the spine. All right, we're gonna sit up nice and tall and go side bend one way. Right, try to come all the way down. Palm is pushing up to the ceiling like I'm holding a tray of drinks back in the waitressing days, right? Yep, I was a waitress for seven years. Hello, I know really good training it really is I tell my my kids and my friends all the time like awesome awesome fun 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 job and to this day I know how to pour a glass of wine and talk at the same open a bottle of wine pour a glass of wine and talk at the same time <laughs> all right listen have a great day and I uh, just want to share with you that my pants are by CVS <laughs> these Christmas leggings and my t-shirt is by Etsy. All right, these are the t-shirts that I gave out to my family for Christmas 2020. And uh, I'm still trying to carry a little bit of that good energy today. All right, have an awesome day and tune in again next time. Thanks guys.